Hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Sophia and for all of my returning watchers, thanks so much for popping back on. So today I have a video that I've done once before and I'm bringing back to do again. I'm entering into my no shop era. If you haven't already seen my first video that I did back in New York, you can go ahead and click up here and you can go ahead and give it a watch. Today I'm starting my no shop era and we're gonna do this at the end of February, so right for the beginning of March. This is gonna be really tricky because Disney just gave all of their employees a 50% off discount, and you know I love one, a deal, and two, merchandise, unfortunately, especially with anything with the mouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my rules for myself that I've planned out, some of the tips that I've started with, and really why I'm doing this no shop era, at least for a hot minute. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned. Let me know your tips and tricks. Let me know if you want to do it with me and be accountable for our spending. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, no shop era. So right now we all know everything's expensive, okay? Everything is expensive. And for the first time I have a real apartment and real bills and right now I have just the desire to shop, but I've realized that I think I shop because it makes me feel happy. All of you know, I love a little treat. I think everybody at work knows I love a little treat. They're like, Sophia, that's so cute. And I'm like, thank you. It's a little treat for myself. I love treating myself. And I think you can still treat yourself, treat yourself, treat yourself, treat yourself, while staying on hopefully this little plan that I have set out for myself. So I'm going to try to do this for three months. I have already started to try to start 2023 with a really low spending patterns. I wanna to try to just do a low buy year in general because I have a lot of stuff. And you've heard me say it, I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of clothes, I have a lot of bags, I have a lot of jewelry, I have a lot of head, hair accessories. and. They don't get the love and need that they that they deserve, and I like don't use them all as much as I should. I feel like so one of the things that I started to start this process of this we're gonna say three months to start, but the goal is to keep it going throughout the year. And maybe what I'll do is this is my first video check in. We're already three months into well, almost right January February. We're almost March will be three months into the year, but you know it's okay. We're gonna try. We're starting now. Okay. We're making accountable right now. Um, so one of the things I started was I did a closet clean out, okay? I went through my closet and I pulled out everything that I don't wear. The amount of stuff that is still hanging in my closet with tags on it that I haven't touched in forever is absurd. Um, things that I have that don't fit, that I think will fit one day. Oh my gosh, shorts. We all, we all know this. Again, I'm not a shorts girl. I don't know why I keep trying to buy shorts. I don't like how shorts feel. I don't like how shorts fit. I just, I'm not a shorts girl. Why do I have so many pairs of shorts? I don't need them. So I really went through random car. I tried to pull through, pull out things that didn't work for me, okay? Shoes that I love that were adorable, but uncomfortable. That was a hard one for me to admit. I was key holding on to these things that were, were cute. I loved them, but they weren't practical. They weren't comfortable. They didn't fit right. So why am I keeping them? You know, it doesn't make sense. So I went ahead, full closet clean out. I think that was step one for me. And then I did like a second thing, which was like an evaluation of what I needed for this season. And to be honest, there wasn't a lot of things that I needed. Um, one of the things that I am looking to maybe invest in is a new wallet slash crossbody fanny pack. Um, and you're gonna be like, Sophia, you just said you have so many purses and bags and whatever. And I'm gonna be like, yes, but if you saw my purses and bags, they're not practical for everyday use. Like my Lego purse that looks like a Lego brick is not something I'm going to be carrying to the Target to get my groceries. You know what I mean? Like I could, but like, I just wanna like a little, you know, like a little crossbody moment. Um, the way I have my keys going right now, not very practical. I still got like my little Vera Bradley lanyard kind of deal going on. Um, and I just kind of want to level that up a little bit. You know, um, another big purchase that I am looking to make is I'm going to a wedding in a few months and I wanted to, you know, purchase a new dress. I wanted to look a little snazzy. So it's just, it's just things like that. So I've already kind of mapped out my big purchases, what I need and necessarily there really isn't anything 
need, need. Um, there's things that I want, trust me, there's things that I want. The, the want list is much, much longer than the need list. But I just went ahead and I just started with that. So step one was my closet clean out. Step two was evaluating my wants and needs for the season, which is really just this three month plan that we're starting with. And just going from there, okay? My third rule that I've made for myself is that secondhand is okay. Um, I, I do love a little treat, okay? I love a little treat. And you all know I love a good thrifting purchase. I have not been thrifting as much as I have in Orlando. I do have a little video hopefully coming up with some of my favorite thrifting spots that I found, vintage shops, antique vibes, so that you can check them out in Orlando. But it's not necessarily giving, I need to drop all my money on this right now, you know? So I am trying to be better about it. I really am, I really am. Alrighty, and step four is to hold myself accountable. So again, that's really why I'm making this video. Um, I know everybody's got different, you know, bits and bobs that they're sticking to this year, but I think if I can post this video and hold myself accountable and be like, hey, we're doing a low buy year. We're doing a no spend year, three month plan, no spend plan, which is really gonna be limiting, you know, the clothing purchases. Obviously I'm buying groceries. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna need to do like a, you know, a home purchase every now and then, but it's going to be really limiting my little treats, you know, limiting the amount of shoes I bring home, you know? Uh, do I need the new that new top that I have, you know, a very similar one in my closet? No. Um, so it's going to be that, that overconsumption that I often slip into. I need to remind myself that, you know, I don't need to do that. I don't need to purchase one to get the little dopamine and blah, you know, whatever the little dopamine, woo, yay, purchase something, but I just don't need it. It's not sustainable. It's not a healthy practice. So really it's, it's cleaning out, which we've done. We got that under control, taking inventory. We've got a plan in action. I know probably the purchases that are a little bit bigger that are exceptions that I will make for the month. They were mapped out. Everything else, nah, not gonna happen, okay? I've taken taken account, okay? Two is we've established the flexible policy with secondhand, okay? Secondhand, it's a little bit more sustainable. I don't feel as bad, blah, 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 blah. Little treat yourself, you know, I'll go crazy. Um, and then four is we are staying accountable. And another thing that I would like to try to do that I've seen all over TikTok that I think is really cool is, you know, getting a budgeting journal going because, you know, if we can, if I can just track it and I can see it on paper, okay, Sophia, you did buy that new wallet and that came in here on this day for this much, I think it will, be easier to visualize that, okay, we can cross that one off the list kind of thing. So that's my little no spend three month budgeting plan. I don't know, is that something that you guys like? Is that something that you guys might wanna try? It's really hard because spending money is so much fun, right? And it's often really hard for me when I'm stuck in the most magical place on earth with the most magical merchandise with the most magical 50% off, let me tell you. But that's what I'm doing. And I hope you guys can keep me on track. So we'll do a little check-in in, uh, well, let's see, March, April, May, in May, end of May, about what's going on, what the dealio is and how I did. I hope you all find this interesting, find this fascinating, intriguing, um, the most spectacular video you've seen, um, just overall, just like worthy of an award. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Next week, I've got more of a lifestyle -y like video, I would say, maybe like a lifestyle -y video, maybe less fashion-y. And yeah, we'll, we'll get back into some Disney content real soon. And like I said, some thrifty stuff is coming your way. So, I'll catch you next time. Happy Friday. Do something you love today. Love you lots. Bye. Enjoy your weekend.